All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Starbound. Previously, we attempted to find some flooring clues, but instead, well, we found a human penal colony and a sewer, which were both quite interesting finds. Now, today, I really hope to find some flooring clues, and if we don't find any, then I'm actually going to showcase something else that I, that I plan to do. So, anyways... Let's look around here. I actually did a bit of off-camera work. I did some more furnishing. As you can see, I kind of made a little like cafeteria place. Got some. I looted some um, vending machines from the from the penal colonies. All these benches. And if you remember last time, I went ahead and I uh, bought the uh, water coolers, even though I could have just looted them. And of course, I got all these all these interesting decorations you see here from the glitch castle. Oh, speaking of which. Um, I did, when I was off camera, I did go back and revisit the glitch castle, so I got a lot more loot. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right now. So let's see here. Um, filling up the tank. There's a codex here. Where is it before I do that? Filling up the tank. Okay. So again, you can just go ahead and pause it, need be, read if you want. And then here we also got, what is this? The ins and outs of it. Again, pause it if you need be. And then, and then I also I also explored the surrounding areas, and I found a bit of interesting interesting things. We got some more blueprints. We got a bone table, and we got ourselves learn to craft bone table, learn to craft bone chest. We also got a high level skull mask, which looks that looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I th I'd say so myself. And we also got a gauntlet, a legendary fist weapon called a gauntlet. I'm not really gonna use that as much. I don't like, you know, short, very short-ranged weapons. But I think that's the thing. It's kind of cool. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put these, store these away in these lockers. Okay. So, anyways, today we're actually gonna go ahead and go out of the solar system because that's where I probably find my clues best. So, let's go outside for a bit. So remember, we have a just a gentle star. I would actually want to go to a temperate star. And I think I found one a while ago when I was just doing some research. So this temperate star right here called Bazingo has a forest has forest planets. Um, but actually, you know <clears throat> Okay, what I'm saying is um you don't need you notice how um We've been able to travel around amongst within a solar system without fuel, right? You you can do that, but to travel between solar systems, you need Urkius fuel. So where exactly are we right now? Okay, we can actually we actually and to get Urkius fuel, we had to go to moons. As you can see, your geological analysis crystal Urkius fuel is what we need. This and also notice that moons have no breathable atmosphere, but there are caverns below ground that contain vast fuel deposits. In summation, useful but not enticing. However, because we have a breathing EPP, we can go down, we can go to any moon, any time. Oh, wait, thank you. Let us go to this moon. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oops. Oh, chicken's ready. Okay, get your... Lining's out. Oops. Beam down. All right. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna go and find this stuff. Oh, here's some. So this is the stuff we need. I'm detecting entities attracted by the moon's earthiest deposits. Their interest in you will grow as you collect more fuel. I would define these entities as intractably deadly. I salute your fearlessness. Anyways, if you go deeper, you notice I have another. I have this spooked debuff because someone's after me. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. Okay, nope. I haven't seen any of these ghost things, whatever you want to call them. Oh, this is cool, though. I'm just so... 
kind of see what it's like. I don't know how much fuel I need. I'm just going to collect as much as I can. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I must say. Whoa! Whoa, what's that? Every time it's like raining something that I'm not sure about. I don't like this. This is getting this is getting dangerous. Oh come on. Gotcha. Get inside. Well, that was a quick that was a nice. Okay, I don't think that rain affects me as much. Oh, no. Something down here? Okay, there's more fuel. Ugh! I'm just waiting for a ghost to show up or something. I haven't seen any. Whoa, that. What's this? Liquid Arceus fuel. Huh, cool. Oops, wait. There we go. On command. Oh, Jesus! Holy cow, that thing's big! Alright. Alright, I think it's time we head back up to the ship. Okay, wow, that thing was big, but we uh, we should have all the fuel we need to travel between solar, between solar systems. So let's put this in here, and liquids, liquids right here. Look at all that. 626 out of 1,000 fuel. Isn't that awesome? Fuel it up. And now, let us travel between solar systems. So this one, what was the one I was looking for? Temperate Star, Bazingo. FTL travel consume 100 fuel. Confirm to proceed. Jump. All right, guys, enjoy the journey. Wow, that's cool, isn't it? All right. So where are we right now? Okay. That's okay. That's a ice planet. Got a desert planet. Another desert planet. Station. Another ice planet. All right. This is the one we want, I want to go to. This de this forest planet right here. Close orbit. <laughs> All right, here we are. Wait, I forgot to check. Let's see. just one more, one more thing. Oh, no, no titanium. Hmm. I really want that titanium, though. All right, anyways, let's just go down. Now, because it's forest planet, as per usual, if I see anything interesting... I will get back to you on it, but I'm going to do a jump jump cut until I do so, so I will be right back. Well, guess what I found? A Florin settlement, and it's a Florin peaceful settlement. So guns out, so lower weapons, top. Florin restless, not enough stabbing going on. Florin has been hunting in darkness practice for cannons. How peculiar. The surprise information can be even more valuable than expected information. Alright, let's begin scanning. Oh, big important item right here. 
Occasionally, it's really hard to find. Interesting that they should value such an item and display it in this way. One painting of a leaf makes sense, I guess. A tattered animal skin. It looks like the animal is quite young. The green glow makes me uncomfortable. The bone parts look sharp, but I hate to sit on them. It looks like a table is held together for open its joints. The couch looks like it would belong to a particularly bloodthirsty floor. Hmm, I want an old tally chart. I use these sometimes. This isn't how I imagined before I wish to look. How peculiar, but surprising information can be even more valuable than expected information. The store has small gaps in it where the sticks of the bamboo meet. I can see right through. Oh, I got a lot of four in here. Suck. You look like fun. Can I chase you? Sorry, I don't really feel like it right now. I'm kind of busy. It has an eerie green glow. I wonder what's inside this box. Okay, I've seen these already. I'll take for the sake of a trophy. I can't agree with that. It looks like... Huh, it looks like if, as if the floor have used a sapling to make chandelier. The screen to dress behind. Or undress. It looks like a starched, stretched piece of leather. It has a typical leathery smell. There's some interesting things here. Are these bones, weapons, or tools? A mongo drum. It looks like an overgrown daisy. A beautiful soft flower. How is it? The stool is polished bone. It almost shines. This bone table is smooth and cold. It is strong. This is still, gro still growing. That's a big tree. The bone corner is allowed to move easily over the ground. Okay. The base of this table looks like a lot like a small tree. Longo drone. Stalashy stand. Did I see this already? Eerie bone wind chimes. Although it's more of a cloud than a chime. Holy cow, this tree is massive. I think this I think this process tans and, and toughens the leather. leather. Uh -huh, I'm not really true. Freshly cut stalks of bamboo. You have a mission. Florin needs to look creepy to stand out from other hunters. Florin has plan. First, we need Florin's six bow. Not hard to find. Lone bird near shallow pond east of us ain't them. Hunt the bird and bring Florin's things back. Okay. That doesn't seem to be made from any bone, right? Rare for foreign furniture. But here's something important. A clue of small implication, but relevant nonetheless. Reminds me of a white tiger. They went extinct some centuries ago. The smell of blood clings to the sheath. Ugh. Oh boy. Did I check these already? Nope. It's got a primitive plate. Sounds like it. Um... Okay, we got a long way to go. Foreign don't appear to be heavy readers. <clears throat> How curious. I need to cross-reference this. Who could say what's behind this cook the who could say what's been cooked in this pot? Great. Yeah, there's really quite like here. I gotta really mark this place, hold on. Okay, uh let me go mark this place with a flag and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished marking off. Um I'm just gonna continue looking around. Poor enemy. Do you have a mission too? Oops. The bows have been sharpened to a point. Hello. Florin heard about an outlaw nearby. Florin heard that Calamity Magnus, the rogue soldier, is at the wooden watchtower east from you. Florin doesn't know what they did, but you might have fun hunting them. Can you join hunting? Sure. Oh, I got someone else to help you. Help me out here. All right now, that's not that's not my main objective. I'm still looking for clues. What else could be around here? I feel like this isn't enough. Gotta be something else around here. Oops. This shelf is empty. The floor be short of things to hunt. Rough it under fa no. Eerie bone wind chimes. Oh, those boards are clattering with shine. Oh, here's something. Oh, that's something big. This gluttonous webbing is of unusual hue and texture. This species that produced it must be unique in its characteristics. It probably live in its environment. And oh, not yet. That's one huge boat. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, me too. This cabinet has fangs. Looks like one of those abstract pieces. Anything else around here? I mean, there's quite a lot. You know, it's nice to just explore things. 
And that's exactly what we're doing. I haven't seen anything like it, that's good. Let's see. Property check, there you go. Okay. Ruin the surface makes it look like a butcher's table. Neatly craft a chest made from twigs and some kind of dry bones. I keep forgetting it. Just open crates, you know. Sometimes what you might not think is something that has storage. Does it? Does in fact have storage. Ooh, look. A codex. Roll of green thing. Codex. Um, let me see here. Again, like I said, I'm just gonna open it. And you can pause the video and just look through it. Okay, what else is here? I feel like I've seen this place before, but it's different. Something new. Oh, another codex. Open it. And it's just one page. Hmm. I already have that. Yeah, perfect. Alright, what else is there? Ooh, look at that. Oh, a lot of people here. Not a whole lot of chests. Oh, okay, except that. That's pretty cool. And this was one tall tree, man. Oh, something else over here. Look at big cabinet, man. This cupboard itself is made of leather. A cool idea. Such a large pelt. Do the forward hunt creatures so big? This cabinet has fangs. What's this? Primitive farm share? Hmm, nice. Maybe we could be friends. Hopefully. Every clue gets us closer. There are animal remains stored in pouches behind this screen. Okay. Not much else here. I just someone some clue, some mission. Another mission. Flora needs to look unnerving to stand out from other hunters. Flora has plan. To begin, Flora needs Tashir's friendship. Here is a note Flora wants you to deliver to Tashir to make friends. Don't read it yourself if Flora will stab you. Uh where do I go for that? No. Maybe we have to trust me the truth to Man, there's so much going on here. Oh wait, no, this is the person I didn't get to. Wait, stop! Stay there! Stay right there! Hold on! Hold on, hold on. Take this reply to Bing now. Success! Tashir is now a trusting confidant. This will prove useful. Flora needs to look at her. Okay, time to find 12 boat. It's very important we do this. Well, I think I got that for yours. Perfect! It's time to put our 12 bone to use. All that's left is to take 12 bone to Tashir so they can make Flora something to wear. Hurry! Wasn't she just up here? There, right there. You got foreign materials. Okay, finished. Okay, okay, let's go. No time to waste. I have, I have important things. I have important things to do. Now, Florin looks unnerved. Florin can be a legendary hunter. Thanks for your help. Where'd he go? Let's see, let's open this bag. Tungsten ore. Okay, cool. Right now, we still have a lot to look for. I just, I just have this, just that little bit left. Come on. It's not that hard. This 
bone table smooth and cold. Oh, she's fucking poisoned me. Are you saying those are all the clues we can look for? That's... Stab there for Flora and Anne. Okay, there's gotta be more around here. I know for a fact there's gotta be more around here. Um, so you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some of those missions that I got and hopefully look for more clues. So I'll be right back. Okay, I actually just finished up the um, searching for Flora and Clues quest. Isn't that great? Uh, let's see, but I still have, I still am doing a bunch of other quests right now. Four lights, four lights, okay. One bone carving. Shiny foreign statue from Akita, go ask them for one. Oh, so many quests going on, it's so dang confusing. <laughs> I don't even know, sometimes I don't even know where I'm going. But I'm glad I actually managed to get that quest done. But, since I'm kind of busy right now, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up these quests. So I'll meet you guys back on the ship. Okay, so I'm back on the ship now. I did a bunch of quests. Um, yeah, so anyway, so let's take a look. Final check in at our inventory space. Um, I didn't get another codex. I don't remember if I used this already. Okay, I already know it. Never mind. So, let me go ahead and store all this away. I guess I could do another manipulator module upgrade. Let me check. Let me check. Here, do 12. No, oh, that makes for 32. It's for 24. It's for 3. Let's go ahead and do this one. All right, increase effective manipulative range by four tiles. And this one probably needs, probably needs, what is it? I think I was 18. <laughs> Enable paint mode. You know, I could do that one as well. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure if I want to do it that way. But, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and then the last one here, enable wire mode. We can do that another time when we get enough... when we get enough modules. So... And then... I'm gonna put this note away somewhere. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that yet. It's the secret note I got during a quest. Boss, I hid the treasure in a small pond east of us. Referring back to the um, the Florin Treetop Village that we that we were just at. But I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that yet, so I'll just put it in here. And sort my inventory. Anyway, so let's go back down to Esther at the two-stop teleshop. So I'll meet you guys back over there. You know, this whole time I could have just beamed to the Ark instead of the two-stop teleshop. That means my walk... <laughs> Would be a lot faster, uh, but who cares? All right, we should be on. We should be at Esther any minute now, and here we are. You did it. That was the last clue we needed. I know just where the Florida artifact is now. And your next mission? The clues you collected revealed that the Florida artifact is enshrined in the ceremonial hunting cabinets. Judging from what I found out, you'll need to compete in the ritual hunt to get it. I've given say on the coordinates you need. Be careful, dear. Mission obtained. I have received coordinates for the ceremonial hunting cabinets. Use the mission interface to access the location. All right. So now we know where the artifact is. In the next episode, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and get that artifact. But that is all the time I have today. So thank you everyone for watching. If you liked this video, drop a like down below. It helps you let me know how I'm doing. And if you really enjoy what I'm doing, and you, you really want to see more of what I do, why not hit that subscribe button? It'll help about me, it'll help about you. So again, thank you everyone, and until next time, I'll see you around.